Hello dear students today we are going to start a very very important part of all competitions that is verbal reasoning now verbal reasoning is very vast and you find a wide variety of problems in this very important concept now one of the important parts is the character puzzles since this part deals with the mathematics portion so i will take up this first and let us now try and understand some problems based on finding the value of an unknown variable given in a particular pattern now see here there is x here there is x here there is x here now we need to identify the pattern through which the first of first part of the first problem is made now similar pattern has to be observed in the second one and we have to apply that pattern on the third one to obtain the value of x so it is all about identifying the rule through which these numbers are written in a given character now for just explaining the these type of questions i just take up three questions and i will explain two of them now see this is a very simple character puzzle in which the number 6 is smaller than these 8 is again smaller than these now we need to find x now see you can either add subtract multiply divide take square root take squares take cubes whatever you want to do between these numbers so however whatever pattern you find between these four numbers same pattern has to apply here also now in this question if you see the three numbers on the top 12 18 and 30 if you add the three numbers you get 30 plus 30 60 and similar pattern if you see in the second character 16 plus 24 plus 40 you get 16 plus 24 is 40 so 40 plus 40 is 80 Now in the third one we have 18 plus 27 plus 45. Now see 18 plus 27 is 45 and 45 is 90. So you see we are obtaining round figures when we add these three numbers. And how this round figure 60 is related to 6? It is one tenth. So if you divide this by 6, 10, then we get 6. So by adding these three numbers and dividing it by 10 i have obtained this number let us see whether this applies here or not see the total of the three numbers here is 80 and we divide by 10 you get 8 you see this is the number here and now we have found out the rule that the, the number at the bottom is obtained by dividing by 10 the sum of these three numbers so the sum of these three numbers is 90 so if you divide it by 10 you get 9 so your value of x is 9 seems difficult when we do it for the first time because here i am explaining how this pattern goes so you must be feeling very comfortable and feeling that this question is very easy but when these types of unsolved questions come in exam they create a lot of headache for the students now let us understand one more question now see here the pattern the character made is different 315 27 631 56 9 x and 81 now what kind of pattern applies here now see if you see this number this is largest now here also this is largest and here also this is largest so we will try and obtain this number 27 by performing some operation on 3 and 15 so if we can do that if we can find a pattern through which we obtain 27 using 3 and 15 then we will be done now see 3 and 15 so if you take double of 15 double of 15 is 30 and how 3 is related to 30 it is 27 is 3 less than 30 so if you subtract this upper number double of this minus this you get the lower number now let us see this is one of the patterns it may be present in the second one or not so if you check here double of 31 minus 
the upper number is 6 let us check now this is 62 so 62 minus 6 is again 56 so we are obtaining the lower number by doubling the middle number and subtracting the upper number now let us apply this pattern here we will get the value of x double this number 2x and subtract the upper number 9 you get the lower number 81 so 2x becomes 90 x becomes 45 so this is the value of x again a very simple question of character puzzles and you need to practice at least 100 200 problems of this kind to master the kind of patterns which uh, come in the examinations so i leave this third problem for you to solve this is a matrix in which there are four rows and three columns there may be a relationship between these three numbers so that you can find x or there may be a relationship between these four numbers in the column so that you can get the value of x in any way in both ways you have to try it and find try and find the value of x so i will be posting subsequent videos on character puzzles itself we will be doing five six videos in which we can practice some of the common patterns observed during exams you can solve this puzzle till then and the answer to this puzzle we will be discussing in second part of our videos on character puzzles till then keep sharing keep subscribing the channel if you like it